Hi, this is Chris Massiello from VitaminCM.com, and today I'm going to talk about how to adjust some of the new features in Windows 8 to make it more to your liking. So when you start up Windows 8 now, it boots into what's called Metro, which are all these tiles of apps that you can launch. So similar to clicking apps off the old start menu, this will launch them. It also displays information like things like the weather or sports scores or it'll pull through your photos. Now you can still get to a traditional desktop by clicking on the desktop tile here and you get to a desktop. But one of the most noticeable things is that there's no start button like the old Windows had. Uh, this is kind of annoying. For a lot of people, a lot of people like to launch their applications the way they've been doing it for the last 20 years. If you look down here, you can put your mouse in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, and a link will come up that will take you back to the Metro Start page, but still not the traditional Start button that you want. One of the things you can do though is download a piece of software that will fix this. It's called Classic Shell. And if you go to the internet and go to classicshell.sourceforge.net, you can download this piece of software. It's free software. And I have it on the desktop. I'm just going to install it right now. So it's done installing. I'll just click finish. And now, if you notice, a set of instructions opens up in a text file that you can read through. Uh, help information, uh, how to use things, uh, where you can go to get resources. And if you look down here in the bottom, I actually have a start button. Now, I have all different options. Windows Classic, Windows XP, Windows 7. So let's set it to uh, Windows 7. Then there's a lot of settings, so left click options, classic start menu, windows start menu, shift click, so I could set up some different key combinations. This is an important one, skip metro screen. So when your computer logs on the next time, you won't even see the metro screen. So I don't like that metro screen, I think it's useless, so I'm going to turn it off. A skin, you can see how you want everything to look, and you can say OK, and now you have the old-fashioned Windows program start menu that you always had. So you can get to the control panel, your printer settings, you can get to the command prompt, all different things. And of course the shutdown and restart is there too. So now if I restart Windows you'll see that when it comes back on it will boot straight up into the old-fashioned desktop and skip Metro. So I'm just going to put my password in and relaunch Windows and get to my desktop where I have my good old fashioned start button and menu. So that's a quick way to fix one of the features in Windows 8 that a lot of people seem to not be happy about.